Hi friends, I had a lot of adulting to do. So, because I'm a 35 year old teenager, but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I had to go to the dentist to take out my stitches. Everything's good to go, so that's good news. But I didn't wanna um, not post anything today. So I am going to show you a few of my addiction situation books that I got in the past few months. I shouldn't be buying books. There's no more space on my shelf, but you know, as I said, could be worse. First, I wanted to talk to you about the books that I finished. I just reviewed it on my Instagram, but um, I finished this one that Quiltree Books sent me. It's a beautiful graphic novel, and it's just a story about sisterhood, magic. Highly recommend it if you have middle grade kids. I don't have kids. I have a puppy, <laughs> but I still love it because I am a kid inside forever. And then I finished Memorials. This is a horror pick from Arbar Book Box, an amazing book subscription box that uh, kind of like Book of the Month, but they have better horror selections and better like li literary fiction selections. So I highly recommend it. This book was very slow paced, but it was very beautifully written. So it's one of those that I didn't enjoy as much because the ending felt rushed to me. But as a book, I know it's a good one. So it's hard to say if I recommend it or not. But yeah, that's the one that I finished. And I'll just show you a bunch of books that I've been getting. And yeah, I think today I'm just gonna show you the arcs so I can separate it into videos because then if not, it's gonna be too much because it's too many books. But I'll show you the arcs that I have received recently from publishers. Most of my arcs come from um, Harper. Uh, I'm so grateful because they are the ones that send me the most books, but first we have House of Blight. This seems to be a fantasy. I am a new <laughs> fantasy reader, so I'm excited about that one. What the Wife Knew by Darby Kane. This is the author of Pl Pretty Little Wife, and I love thrillers. That's my favorite genre, thrillers, horrors, and literary fiction, so I'm excited about this one. Then they send me a bunch of middle grade books that I'm excited to get to and actually recommend because I have a lot of friends on, on Instagram that have kids so I can read and see if I recommend some of these. This is Puck and Prejudice, um, probably a hockey retelling of Pride and Prejudice. I am also a newly found, well it's been a couple of months already, a few months, uh, romance reader so I'm excited about this one too. Then we have another romance, which is between friends and lovers. I think this is a love triangle situation, which I like to read about. <laughs> uh, another middle gray. Look how beautiful the middle gray covers are. They're just the best. Then this one is a romance about like an open relationship or a uh, polyamorous uh, situation. I'm not too sure. I got it in the soft cover, um, the paperback arc, and then they sent me the finished copy the hard cover and can't wait to get to it to review it later then we have we are watching another thriller that i'm excited to get to then we have noodle and bao this is another graphic novel so cute <laughs> this one's so cute look how cute that cover is then i have this beautiful book that i was so excited to get because i am the biggest the office fan uh this is dunder mifflin Look how pretty it is. And I think it's my, by Kevin. I think Kevin is the one that actually wrote and illustrated it with like somebody else. Yeah. Look how cool that is. So I can't wait to get to this one. I'll probably read it with a Christmas Carol that I'm going to read for a uh, Christmas books type of thing that I want to do. So I'll stay tuned for that. Then this The First Cat in Space, another graphic novel that they sent me. Super beautiful illustrations. Still Sal, this is another middle grade story that I can't wait to get to. Beautiful illustrated covers, I swear, the middle grade books have the best covers. Then they sent me Rainbow Rowell's Slow Dance. I got the arc in the paperback as well, and then they sent me the finished hardcover, so I'm excited to get to this one. Then they have uh, sent me Give Me Butterflies. This is another beautiful romance story. Look how pretty the cover is, it's just amazing. Another middle grade. This one is Splinter and Ash. It seems like a fantasy middle grade. I can't wait to get to that one too. And last but not least, we have Adam and Evie's matchmaking tour. So another beautifully illustrated cover for a romance book that I can't wait to read and review, but it's just too many books, too little time. I know you get me. So 
yeah i think oh we have two three more we have the prince without sorrow this is another arc look how i mean gorgeous cover this is a fantasy book it's giving me like wicked uh prince is that how it's called vibes the cover so we'll see this is corrupting the innocent it seems like one of those mafia romance <laughs> sexy <laughs> kind of what do you call it uh smutty books that i don't read but i'm grateful for and i can give it to somebody that enjoys uh smut like my friend april <laughs> And then we have a sky of emerald stars, another fantasy that I can't wait to get into because, again, I'm a new fantasy reader, so I'm excited for this one. Anyways, that's all for today because um, I'm going to set up some painting that, that, paintings that I want to work on tomorrow and put these away on the side because I put my arcs uh, on a separate area so I know that I have to review them. And yeah, I think tomorrow I'm going to show you some other books and hopefully i don't have that much adulting to do after work so yeah thank you so much for watching please like comment subscribe and leave me in the comments what kinds of videos do you like to watch what kind of books do you like to uh books do you like to read <laughs> and just anything you want thank you so much for watching guys love you bye